This is Daisy, and I'm Marie, and I decided to try and dress Daisy as a ghost for the dog ghost costume photo shoot that some other folks have been doing on the internet. I have some white fabric and like cut out holes in the appropriate places and I'm slipping it over Daisy's head very gently getting her ears to go through those holes. I don't want to cut holes too big and just have it fall off of her. She's not really that big a dog. This ear here is being a little stubborn. So I'm going to reach underneath and give it a little push through. I'm not doing anything that would hurt my dog. Big hug and kiss. So cute. And if I and if I think she's cute, she thinks it's ridiculous. Did someone see me? That's none of my friends, is it? No. I don't want to be seen like this. The things we have to put up with when we're the family dog. And she's out of it. I'm done. All done. I thought you might enjoy seeing how we made our costume. I would never imagine taking a pen and poking at someone's eyes. Whether it's Sharpie or fabric pens. I wouldn't do that. My plan is to make a pattern. So I'm using a paper towel and that's a piece of um, like a sticker that came in junk mail. So I'm just putting a little sticker where her eye is. Check, that's where the eye is. And I'm just going to put the sticker there. See, I'm not poking at anything. I'm just laying it on a piece of tissue. Uh, it's a paper towel. Just, just laid it on there and so I'm not poking on her eye. Sort of pressed it down. I pulled it up to her eyebrow and so you see, Daisy's being a pretty good sport. She's letting me know this, this is all is a bad idea from the get-go. We probably pulled this this little costume together in oh, half an hour last night. That's not my template, that's just another paper towel. Okay, my pattern with the stickers wasn't working out, so this is my second try. What I did was I cut out a little triangle for her nose. Then I put it on. And yeah, I'm very careful with my thumbs on her eyes. And I'm going to take my scissors and just 
pop a little hole in the template. And again, this is my pattern. So if it's wrong, no big deal. Just cut a little X in the fabric and then I cut the holes out. And this is how I'm going to do it with the fabric once I have my pattern. I'll just fold it in half and cut everything out at once. There are plenty of rewards going on in this video. Daisy has had plenty of cookies and treats. There we go. So his holes are right where I want them to be. Just need to make them larger. And here is the costume that Daisy's really going to be wearing this Halloween. We bought this at Walmart. It's a little big. It's a ladybug. I'm going to use uh, some adhesive hook and loop in a few places just to snug it up and to keep the costume on her a little bit better and keep the wings down. They sort of kind of flop over a little bit. But I thought this was, I wanted her to be a ladybug, and when I saw the costume, I took it. Yeah, I couldn't find a smaller one, but really this fits pretty well. Like I said, a little hook and loop in a few places, and like I said, I think I, under her neck there, I'm going to make that a little, little snugger, a little snugger under her belly, and a few bits there to hold the wings down a little better. See how they sort of rumple up on her. If she sits down, the wings fall into place, but... Here I'm using a tape measure. I want to make sure that the ghost costume isn't too long in the front. I don't want her to trip and fall. So... Measuring two, three, four, five times. Make sure it's not... I I've got it right. And so here we are with our final costume fitting. Uh, the eye holes might still be a little bit small. Could use to be a little bit larger. And I think I want to put some ears, a place for her ears to come through. That's also on my template. I just didn't do it. Getting late. Will you sit? Daisy. You see how many treats I've gone through to get my dog to cooperate with this? Yes, I bribe my border collie. Well, that's not too bad. It just skims the floor a little bit. Not too bad. I'll straighten out the back okay. it's too long. The when we're taking pictures.
I hope we've inspired you to have some costumes for your pets this season. And I hope you have fun with it. Be safe. And enjoy. Please like and subscribe. And give Daisy a big thumbs up for tolerating all this silliness. She's a good girl. And happy Halloween. Stay, stay. Don't come down the stairs. You'll trip. That's my girl. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Good job. Good job.